Today in the soybeans, they slipped a little bit. The Monday's gains were erased completely. So uh, after all this week, the momentum really turned to the bear side. Perhaps the top of the market is in. With exports low and supplies high, the market has nowhere else to go but down. Corn was also easier today. That slower export, uh, export sales uh, started to weigh on the market somewhat. The steadily grinding lower all week. With no fundamental news, technical numbers are starting to take over. And as we slip below some of those support levels, the market is starting to decline. The trend is really bearish again as we head into uh, more of the harvest. We expect that there's going to be more field work coming in. And with those numbers coming out, uh, it's not uh, looking good at this point right now. And we're sinking. It's not really falling off uh, the cliff here, but the market is moving lower. Wheat was firmed up somewhat. There's an uptick in the export sales. And so that hit a forecast by the USDA uh, uh, for the first uh, time in maybe like three weeks. And so that's why the market really got a little bit of a lift. That being said, we're still stuck in a channel in the very low area for wheat, above $5, below $5.20. We can't really break out of that channel right now. We need uh, more news or at least more exports to really move, uh, move along or move us out of that channel. But there's uh, not much else on the front burner for wheat. And so we ex uh, uh, expect that the consolidative phase is going to continue. That's all from the floor at the CME Group. I'm Virginia McGathy.